So, so, we all know that babies, toddlers, kids, and sometimes even teens don't have all the gameplay that we hope for in The Sims 4. While many of us are still hoping for a generation spec to come out for The Sims 4, EA has already announced that they won't be releasing any new content in 2021. So it's kind of time to take matters into our own hands. And how do we do that? By adding mods and CC to our game that give us everything that we ever dreamed of. This video is split up into three parts. The first one being decorative and functional CC. The second one being CC that adds new gameplay that we don't have yet. And the third one being mods that will add gameplay for babies, toddlers, kids, and teens. Because there's so much to showcase today, I've time-coded this video, so feel free to jump around to the sections that interest you. And as usual, I've added all the direct download links for the things that I showcase in today's video down in the description box. So all you have to do if you want to download something is just hop in there and grab the link so you can play with it as soon as possible. As this video is only about build by CC or mods, I'm not adding or involving any cast assets. In case you want to ever see a video like that, please let me know in the comments down below so I can get working on that one as well. The first category is decorative and functional CC. This either contains decorative value items or items that replace any of the items that we currently already have in game, like dollhouses or beds. The first creators are actually a duo that I already featured in my Best Maxis Match CC video, so you might have heard of them already. Felixandra and Harry are one of my favorite CC creators as they make the most beautiful Maxis Match CC. One of their packs, Tiny Travelers, comes with a bunch of items to decorate nurseries, toddlers and kids' rooms. I'm obsessed with this pack and I use it almost in every single build. You can download just one file to get the entire pack, making it very easy to add new content to your game. The second creator was also featured in my Best Maxis Match CC video and his name is Pieri Sim. He made an entire collection called the Oak House Collection, where he made matching furniture for each room in the house. Part 6 of this series is the Kids Room Collection and it's absolutely stunning. The items are incredibly Max's match and also go together with the Tiny Traveler's pack very well. I specifically love the clutter items like the wooden block kit because it's so realistic. Because it's a pack you only need to download one file and you get so much fresh CC. The third creator in this category is a winged llama. This creator created an override for the base game bassinet that just looks so much better. This item is 100% functional and once in game it automatically replaces the original bassinet. So when a baby is born, you'll see this bassinet show up in your house. The second category is CC that adds new gameplay. This category involves all of the custom content that adds new gameplay to the game that we didn't have before. The first creator is the queen of highly functional CC and her name is Ravashim. I think I own about every piece that she ever made. For kids and toddlers, there are five CC items that I would like to share with you. The first one is a slide for kids. I've always found it weird that toddlers have a slide, but kids don't. And with this slide, you can actually build a nice playground for toddlers and kids. The second one is the kids' kitchen. I think so many of us had something similar to a kids' kitchen when we were younger. I remember the days where I endlessly cooked puzzle pieces. You can now add this to your sims and it's fully functional for kids and toddlers. Number three is other stuffed animals. Sometimes it's nice to just switch up the animals and not give every kid in the house a Blarfy. All of these objects come with the same interactions as a Blarfy. Number four are the small dollhouses. Have you ever been frustrated with how large the dollhouses are in The Sims? Well, frustrate no more. These small dollhouses are perfect for your Sims in smaller family homes. Number five is the art display. I love that kids can draw on The Sims, but I always delete most of the paintings because I don't want to stick them all to the wall. With this cute art display, you can clip them for them. It just feels very realistic. The second creator is definitely the ruler of toddler CC. Their name is Panda Sama. They have made an incredible amount of objects for toddlers that add new gameplay or interactions for adults with babies, toddlers, and kids. All in all, it just adds a lot of realism to your game. Today, I have not one, not two, but seven items from them on this list. Number one being the changing table for tots. You heard it right, a functional changing table for cleaning the dirty diapers. It might not be for everyone, but if you're looking for realism in your game, this is 100% the way to go. Number two is the Toddler's Creativity Pack. This pack adds a rocker stack, xylophone, drawing supplies and crafting station for toddlers. Finally, they can actually get to play instead of use the web and tablet all the time. Number three is Toddler Stuff. This pack adds a basketball hoop, a sleeping mat and a rocking horse to the game. Get ready to live out your toddler cave dreams. 
Number four is the toddler bunk beds. Ever wonder why we have bunk beds for kids and adults, but not for toddlers? Well, wonder no longer because with this item, you can stack your toddlers as well. Number five is the kids and toddler trampoline. This is one of my favorite items from Pandasama because it's just so realistic to have a trampoline in the backyard for your kids. And I just really appreciate more outdoor activities for my kiddos. Number six is the toddler play phone. I used to have one of these and they were so much fun. This phone plays to the concept of toddlers having a wild imagination and I am loving it. Last but definitely not least is number seven, the play tunnel and makeup kit. Even more functional items for the toddler cave. Awesome. And the makeup kit? Yes, it's even better than it sounds. Kids can do their parents' makeup and nails. One of my favorite things about the Panda Sama CC items is that they all help in building skills for your kids and toddlers. So it's not just fun or decorative, it actually helps you in your gameplay and your storytelling. The next creators are a duo again. Barunk and Halaninori have added functional bicycles for kids and toddlers. Sometimes the answer to great CC is just so simple. You just want to be able to do the same things with toddlers and kids as you can do with adults. What I love about this is they make different variants of the bikes, so they actually match with the ages of the kids. The third creator in this category is Around the Sims. Today I want to showcase three of their CC pieces. The first one is the functional steamer for toddler recipes. This lets you cook food for your toddlers so they can eat more than only sandwiches and peas. It's just another thing that is very realistic. Number two is the toddler drink creator. Same as with the food, this way you can grab a drink for your toddlers. You can already do this in game, but this way it actually looks like an object that toddlers would use. The last one is the toddler play pens. This actually might be one of the most useful pieces of CC, especially if you're playing with a 100 baby challenge. These play plans do exactly as you'd expect. They contain your toddlers from walking all over the place. The third and last category of this video are mods that add to your gameplay. These are either mods that add new gameplay or enhance current gameplay that we already have in the game. The first creator in this category is Caradriel. They made a mod called Better Babies and Toddlers, and this mod adds more interactions for adult sims with babies and toddlers. And I'm not just saying a couple of interactions. They made multiple new pie menus and moodlets for your sims. One example is that parents can complain to each other about being tired from having a baby in the house. It's those little things that make the game just much more realistic. The second creator on this list is one of my favorite modders for The Sims 4, Kawaii Stacy. There are two mods that I want to showcase in this video today. The first one being the Better Schools mod. I always found it weird that when toddlers go to daycare and kids go to school, they don't actually develop their skills. Because of that, sending them off kind of feels like a waste of time. Luckily, the education system bundle fixes this and much more. With this mod, you get preschools for your toddlers, better schools for your kids, smarter homework, and online schooling. This mod is so extensive, I could do an entire video on it. Right now, all I can say is I highly recommend it when you are looking to improve your gameplay for toddlers, kids, and teens. The second mod from Kawaii Stacy is the after school activity mod. Kids can join the scouts in the drama club, but that's about it. This has always felt limiting, but luckily Kawaii Stacy felt the same. This mod adds a long list of after-school activities for your kids that actually lets them build relevant skills. This just makes so much more sense for storytelling and allows you to already work on a topic with your kids and teens before they go to university. The last creator in this category is a Deep Indigo. They made a summer camp mod. With this mod, your teens and kids can go to different summer camps like art camp, band camp and sports camp for a total of five days. During this period, it will replace their school and they will work on their skills and character traits. This is just another one of those simple things that increases the reality of the game. I'm curious to hear what you think of my list to improve gameplays for our younger sims. If you have any ideas for mods or CC that I could use to enhance this gameplay, please let me know in the comments down below and share it with the community. If you ever want to catch me live playing Sims, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So feel free to come hang out over there as well. And in case this video was helpful to you in any way, please give it a big thumbs up because it does really help the video get to more people on this platform. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.